Welcome to Long Arm Wednesday. I'm Laura Lynn of the Mama Pop Quilt Shop and we're very happy to see you here today. Today we're working on another quilt, possibly even two. This is the charity of Hug for Nova Scotia. It is a free pattern by fabricaddict.net um, and you could obviously make the, download the pattern and then make it to send to uh, Nova Scotia if you would like, okay? The reason why this is, is uh, on April 18th and 19th of 2020, there was a tragedy there and these quilts are going to the family members who have been left over or, or who have, who are there, sorry. I'm trying to word that correctly. This is another one. Um, the one on the long arm here is by Myrtle. This one here is done by Christy and Cindy of my, um, of the Aaron Village Quilters. This also of Aaron Village Quilters. Uh, love the girls, how they've come together for, for this uh, beautiful project. I see uh, in this white part here, I can see us doing a little bit more of a, um, a whole kind of stitch out. So I'm very excited by that project, this one coming up. I'm hopefully gonna try and get it done today as well. We're almost done this one right here. So thank you girls very much. Uh, Myrtle probably would never see this video. <laughs> She's not very much uh, to the internet. So, but uh, it, she did a beautiful job. I love the pattern of the hearts. Um, I love the, 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 the solid of the blue and the little, looks like a watch connections on the on the, the, the gold part and the squares in the center. So what I have stitching out here is a double swirl and it's on a solid blue back with white thread and I think it looks beautiful as, as when you turn it over it's going to look like a whole cloth so you know two, 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 two quilts in one. I've got to love that idea. And now we're just going to resume the stitch out. Look at that. Beautiful. Love all that. And I like the busyness of the heart with the subdued of everything else. Like there's some white on white, some plain white, uh, but nothing too uh, drastic in color from each other. It really, uh, really quite blends. So she did a beautiful job. And so did Cindy and Christy on this beautiful, beautiful quilt. And I love the border on this as well. So the pattern, the free pattern ends up being 65 and a half by 65 and a half. Of course, you can bulk it out a little bit more um, with any border you, uh, or a couple borders. Um, but I think that was the size of the, um, that they were asking for or requesting. So. But I love the colors. I do believe blue helps represent Nova Scotia. That's their provincial color. Right. So I see lots of ideas on this one, that's for sure. So when it came to the ending of this quilt, and since I'm doing an edge to edge pattern stitch out on it, when it comes to stitching the last two rows, because he was doing two rows at a time, this is row five, and then it'll stitch out row six when I get there, and then that'll be this quilt project finished. So, yay. Um, for, and like I said, we always do the uh, ones for charity or for free here via the quilt shop. Um, we do the quilting for free. We just ask that uh, whoever's, you know, pay for the batting or so on and so forth. But since this is Myrtle's quilt, I'm not gonna ask her for batting, so that's okay. I don't mind. Do my little part too, right? So, um, so what I did is when I set out my pull pattern and you have to go to stitching at the, you know, it's, you've rolled the quilt, place your, um, the stitch head at the last place it had stitched out. So I go in and stick it all the way up over here in this corner. You can't see it via the GoPro, but it is all the way up in here. And then it's gonna give me the next spacing for the next two rows to make sure it sits within my um, base, stitch, it's base stitched section. So, and then I can tweak that if, you know, maybe we're not a square or, you know, where some of the lines are a little bit straight, we can tweak the little pattern here and here and maybe bring it up just a smidge as, you know, maybe as we were rolling, we kind of lost a little bit more real estate than we were anticipating. So, you know, a little bit is not gonna make a difference in the overall stitch out. So, as I love that about the software is being able to tweak it, you know, to, to fit, even if you have to kind of pull down a little bit in one corner or, you know, tuck it up a little bit in the center. That all looks good. Now this is a beautiful, beautiful quilt block pattern. And I love that it was being given away for free as a free download, like I said, fabricaddicts.net. I believe she is the creator of the block and she's a creator of the quilt idea, or quilt design. And um, 
is, is hoping uh, lots of people partake in helping. So from my understanding, these quilts need to be there in Nova Scotia by the end of, or being mailed to Nova Scotia by the end of June. So that's why I'm trying to get these two done as soon as I can. Um, this one just kind of showed up last week, so I, I want to get like one after the other done today. So today's, today's going to be charity hugging Nova Scotia Day. <laughs> get, them, get them done. Yeah, I really do love that fabric. And they wanted to know how many quilts were coming as well. So I hope, I think the girls have been able to contact them and let them know, or at least our guild will. We have three coming, so and, and good on, good on them. Good on the girls for doing that. Working as a team. Looks good. Yeah, I chose white thread. Just thought it would blend nicely, but still be able to show up on some of the blue and then the tan. And I actually, I didn't realize it was going to disappear so much, even on the heart. I thought it might have actually showed up a little bit on the heart, but um, yeah, it was kind of, do I stick blue on it? Or do I just kind of help it blend together between the whites and the back, and the back as well? Because I don't want to do too dark of a color on the back or too dark a color on the front, so. I don't want it to take away from the beautiful creativity of the ladies who, who uh, put the quilt pops together, right? So. Gotta love the art. Gotta love the art that comes here. Well, it's almost done. Yeah, we had a fantastic time on the weekend for our live stream. We put together the Mountain Majesties quilt top. Now, I really love the way this turned out. It was a very scrappy adventure. And then I did a two inch around and then with some dark checkered fabric, uh, bulked it out a little bit. So then this was one of those uh, fantastic patterns that you can actually get five different quilts out of. So it is a Bonnie Hunter, it's called Mountain Majesties and uh, go look it up. It's beautiful. Mine ended up being, because of my border sizes, uh, 74 by 64. So that's a great size, great for twin, great for Quilt of Valor. Um, I, I got a lot of masculine comments, like the, it looks very masculine or some, some gentleman would love that or so on and so forth. So, uh, you know, I, I love it. It doesn't necessarily have to be, you know, you know what I mean. So as long as colors are pleasing, which I'm happy with. And uh, yeah, I got lots of, lots of good ones. So, so far we're keeping this one. If I get some offers on it, I might take them. <laughs> that was a very fun project. And then we were, I had posted to a couple of Facebook groups uh, quilting stuff. And uh, one of the ladies mentioned about taking the pieces apart of the blocks and then scrapping them up in the ups and the downs. And I was like, oh my gosh, that is amazing. Now I want to do this pattern again but maybe in a bigger block, like maybe a 10 or a 12 inch or something like that, and then mix them up. I think it would be great for I Spy fabric because you'd have a little bit, you know, a little bit wider of a, um, a strip of fabric to look at. I still think it would make an amazing Christmas with Christmas fabrics. Like you got all your crazy Christmas fabrics on one side and then like white or like a red or something for the other, just mixing and matching. Beautiful. Oh, and Walt is done. And then I'm just going to cut the threads and I'm going to hit OK and he's going to go back over there and he's going to start the last row. He's such a good assistant. And I just chose 8020 for the batting. And it's light enough that it didn't shine through as a tan or anything underneath. At least I don't think so. Let Walt start his stuff. So I will say thank you everybody for watching, liking, and subscribing here at the Mama Pop Quilt Shop. We greatly appreciate you, your company, your help, your chat, your just hanging out. Just hanging out. Even if you don't say anything, you're just hanging out in the chat or or just, just love watching the videos and chilling out to Walt doing his work or me working with Walt. So thank you everybody. Big hugs to you. Enjoy the day. Take care. <laughs>